Woo. Welcome back. Lovely bowl of ice cream. So welcome back. This is Rico, Rico's Aquariums, and this is um, Aquarium Talk and everything in between, I think, episode 37. And we have a subject that's going to come up to right now called Harasses of Saltwater Aquarium Maintenance. That's right. Um, or should I say the reducing the harasses of saltwater aquarium maintenance? However you want to look at it. Reducing and her, the her harasses of saltwater aquarium maintenance. And when I mean harasses, I mean like all the things that we just don't want to do maybe. I think I've said that right. Harasses. I, I, I thought it sounded good. I don't know. What's up, Al the Great Reef, man? Listen, my wife brought me some ice cream, peanut butter cup ice cream for this talk. It's a long Friday. I mean, peanut butter ice cream, man. This is good stuff. Mmm, 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 mmm. She done fed me on the last one. It's dessert time on this one. Hey, got to love the wife, man. Anyway, what's up? What's up? What's up, Tyler? What's going on? Huh? Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm. Mm. And she makes sure I keep my dad bod together. I'm going to tell you. Boy, ain't nothing better than getting old is you can just pretty much eat whatever you want. <laughs> hey, hey, who is that? Is that Mr. Johan? What's up, Mr. Johan? What's up? <laughs> I'm going to be tear up. <laughs> Uh, what's poppin', my man? What's poppin', dude? Uh, yeah, she is better. She butter me. Y'all gotta help me keep an eye on her. She kind of, if she try to come back up in the chat, y'all go ahead and try to get that up out of her, man. Y'all gotta protect me, man. Y'all gotta protect me, okay? Y'all gotta protect me up in here. Yeah, man. She, you right, man. I didn't even think about that. How you know, man? See, you better than me, man. She up here trying to, she trying to butter me up for something, huh? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I'm, I was over there the other day. I just had, a, I just replaced his uh, sub pump yesterday. They was yesterday. I was over there. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. I was over there yesterday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had to replace it. He had a short kept uh tripping his breaker. So it went bad. So yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, you're gonna spin. You can't help but spin. I mean the prices are great. You can't help it. So, um, where are we at? Harasses of, of, um, of saltwater aquarium maintenance. So let's talk a little bit about that. I mean, what can, I guess, what can we do to reduce the onslaught of aquarium maintenance within our aquariums? That's, that's a question. Mm-hmm. What can we do? Hmm. That's all. Automatic, automatic water changes. That's one. What else? What else can we do? Man, this stuff is good, man. 
Mm-mm-mm. So we got Tyler says automatic water change. Nobody else has anything to say to that. Tyler, yeah, y'all must have been the wrong crowd. Crowd that wanted the, uh, another live show, huh? There we go. We got some more people coming in. On the way in, hit those thumbs up. We're about fifteen thumbs up short. I ain't playing. I ain't playing. You know what? People probably wouldn't even think about that, Grizz. Aquatics. I mean, just starting off right out the gate would definitely help with that. He said correct cycle. <laughs> Is he lying? Nah, I don't think so. I mean... You can say personal opinion, but I think it's a very good opinion if you ask me. I like it. Uh, how, how the great reef says, don't do them. Don't do water changes. <laughs> mm. What's up, Smokey's Reef? ATS says don't don't overfeed. Yeah. What else? Um Smokey's Reef says uh you have to have weekly, monthly, semi-annual, and annual maintenance plans. I like that. Can't cut corners. Gotta have a plan. Most people don't have plans. Not Joe's Joe uh Joe's Coral Reef. What's up, man? Um it says keep it simple. Most definitely. Keep it simple. Uh, uh hey 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 Huh. Mm. You gotta overfeed me. I'm built like a bull anyway. I need to eat. Mm-hmm. I gotta keep my man body and man figure up. You know, there's a lot of trolls out here in the world. You know, gotta take care of the cut uh ketchup packs. Um but yeah. That's funny, though. Um, keeping a log. That is. Doing the same thing here. Um, yeah. Let's start plumbing them uh, uh, aquariums behind you, Rico. Negative, buddy. Negative. Negative. I'm not ready for that, man. I'm not ready for that. I just put about dang four grand out just to get the water ready, man. What does y'all want from me? I'm I'm trying my best, man. Look, I opened up some boxes like it was Christmas over here for you. I got a nice sign today that was laid up against my door. You know what I'm saying? I got I got my I got my sign ready. I need my big tank ready. I need I listen. My room is a mess still, man. I still got to do electrical work. Where do you think? You think I'm going to operate all this stuff on what's here? Man, listen. I got electrical to do, bud. I still got electrical. And that's going to cost me a couple dollars, too, you know. I, you know, I got to make a thousand. I got to make, listen, listen how rough it is. I got to make a thousand videos. And I might be able to get my uh, electrical done. I mean, I don't get no thumbs up right now. They, I mean, thumbs up or down. Nobody ain't did a thumbs up. Like, people just come in. They they just walk in my house. They don't even take off their shoes, man. That's how crazy it is, Carrie. Like, you would, 
You talk about plumbing these tanks again. I can't even get y'all to take off your shoes and give me a thumbs up. You walk right in my house, no thumbs up. You just do whatever y'all want to do. I'm supposed to sit here and just say, okay. I mean, what you want me to do, man? Downright disrespectful. No respect. And then y'all be the first one to tell me what I didn't get no notification. I can't help it. YouTube is like right now because I've been gone for a while, man. I wasn't I wasn't making them no money because I wasn't doing no video. So bad, Rico. We will put our notification every two or three live streams you do. Okay. We'll put out one. And then we'll put it out where some will get it and some won't get it. I can't help that, man. Must, you know, no sauce for free. Oh, Al the Great. That, hey, listen, man. You you say that, man. They might, the trolls might come on your neck right now for saying that. You know you can't defend me on that level. The trolls are going to, you're going to make the trolls come chase you, Al. You got to watch what you say, man. The trolls is real. <laughs> They'll be on your neck. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> you got a, you got, you got, you got thumbs up. You can do, you know, uh, the, the, the people. I mean, damn, you, you know. Uh, let me tell. Let me be quiet. What's up, Sherry? What's up, hon? You got, you got people. Carrie, Sherry, up in here. You got some other ones. Uh, this is definitely a troll-free zone this year. I ain't playing. You know, people say, oh, Rico, don't let people get you mad. You get me mad, and it's not really – and if I really can't understand what you're trying to really get off your chest or try to check me or something, you get mad. I don't care. I do not care if there's only 10 people. I, I, I wish people understand this. I don't care if it's only 10 people that follow and want to learn something, and everybody, I'm an outcast to everybody. Like, I don't care about those things. What I do care about is just having fun and whatever. But, Al, do not get the troll started. I'm just trying to help you. I'm your homie, okay? I don't want to have to come down and hold your hand and, and all that because they don't beat you to death. You know what I'm saying? Uh, there, you can. Uh, there's a there's a members button. There's a members button too for people. If you want to become a member, I mean, I know you see it when y'all coming in. I mean, what's the problem? You don't what you don't you don't you don't trust what I'm saying. I mean, how many of y'all been following me for how long? There's a I'm a, I'm capable of having a members button now. Y'all didn't want to hit the members button. Pitiful. 2021 is pitiful. Chalk it up. All right. Uh, put the trolls under the bridge. <laughs> I'm just saying they're real. Uh, yeah, the, 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 there's the members button. You're more than welcome to join. Why not join the member section? Huh? Y'all see it? How many of y'all see the member button when y'all when y'all look at my stuff? How many? I see it. I see it right now. How many people see it? Okay. Grizzly Equality said, I've been following you for five years under different different name. I don't see. Why? How come you ain't a member then? You've been following me for five years. It's under a different name. I don't care what name it is. Why? How come you not a member? So you don't talk on yourself. Uh-huh. Uh, what's crazy is I see the join button on the other page I follow, but not, not yours. What are you using it on? What you using it on? Let me see. Let me let me let me just see. iPhone. Yeah, the iPhone don't have, you got to go into the uh, computer or if you can go log into Safari on the Safari and do it. Yeah, on the Safari. But on a computer, you'll see it. Let me see. Let me see. Mm hmm, mm hmm. BJ's Reptiles. Let's see. I don't got an iPhone. Friday working food home now. Friday night talk. Let's go.
Let me see. Let me see. Let me. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Mm. You know what? Uh, could you post a link for iPhone users, maybe? You know what? I don't know how to do that. You try to get me to do something. I don't know how to do that. Um. Okay. So if you're looking at the YouTube, right? Let me see something. If I hit that. Okay. Okay, so all right, there's a joint. So let me let me let me let me get back. So I I was just like this on my phone. I hit pause. So I don't know if y'all can see this, but when I I tap my logo, then it brought me to this page here, and then there's a join right here. There's a join button right there. So y'all see what I'm saying? Let me see. So I went on YouTube. This is live. So if I tap this, this is fine. Right? So I paused it, and then I hit where my name was right here, my, that logo, on where you can subscribe at. I hit that, and then it brought up here, and then it says Rico's Credit, and then it says join. Like, when I initially went on it, I didn't know that. I just I, – I never did it. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, that's that's – I don't know. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! Don't give them no sauce for free. Al the Great Reef said he don't care about nothing about no trolls. Stop giving up the sauce for free. But Al, it's twenty twenty one, man. They got people running around telling them if they tank fluctuates a half a degree, that they st that their cars are going RT and STN on them. I'm, I ain't supposed to help him out a little bit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not a little bit. Come on, hey, Al. Al. Hey, hey, listen. Y'all more than welcome to look out for this channel. I'm here. I done been here for how long, Cherry? Let me see. Is Sherry still in here? When I come back, Sherry, how long has it been, Sherry? About, about going on two weeks. I already got 35, 36 videos and live streams talk. That's 36 hours. Okay? That's 36 hours. Just so y'all know, that's 36 hours. I'm doing one hour live stream per episode of talks. That's 36 hours. I'm just saying. 36 hours in two weeks, okay? 36. I mean, I'm just saying, like, that's two videos, two, two a day. He said, went through Safari, can't see it. Who got an iPhone? Hey, you know what? Hold on, man. Hey, son, let me see your phone. You got your iPhone? Yeah, let me see your iPhone. It's going to die. It's going to die? Yeah. Well, how, give me a second. Get off. Let me see. It's literally at 1%. It's at 1%. What do you need? Can I, get a, uh, can I get your charger? Go get my charger. Go get the charger. And why is it locked? Why you got a locked iPhone over here? Go ahead, man. Give me, the, give me the cord. I don't care whose it is. And why is the phone locked? I need to see it. I don't even know how to use an iPhone. And you got to fake. Get up. Hold on, guys. We're going to get this. Hello? Give me it. Is it on? I lock it. All right. All right. Cool. All right. My kids got iPhone. I don't got no iPhone. 
What up? Yo, yo, what's good? What's good? That's because uh, they see your tank in the back. They don't believe in facts. Oh, is that what they do? L? L said, y'all. <laughs> hey, Al, Al said, look, y'all. Look, look, Linda, 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 look. Uh, look, can't find your uh, find the joy button, but still want to support your channel and what you do for the hobby. Whoa, thank you, thank you, thank you. I greatly appreciate that. Uh, you want to play uh, COD tonight? Who's 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 that? Is is that kid? Oh, we want to get some COD in tonight. Yeah, I could probably get some COD in tonight, actually. Yeah. It's Friday. Yeah, we could probably do that. The wife ain't going to do nothing but go to bed anyway. Let me see. Um, let me go in here. Let's go search. So let me see. Rico's Aquarius. Let me see. Okay. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go here on the iPhone. Now, I'm going to try to find it. I don't know anything about this iPhone. I know you guys keep asking me. Let me see. Um, how do I do this? Mm, so maybe about mm, community. Uh, let's see. Man, I can't keep up with the strings. I, man, I don't know what to tell you. Whoa! We got a... Look what happened, y'all. Y'all, man, listen. Saw so water Aquarium in the house. Hit him, hit him with a Benjamin. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Look at them, my, my people. See, I told y'all. Y'all better get y'all better y'all better get with the program. Let's, let's see. Bam. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I do not understand. I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I feel you on this iPhone. I can't, if you find it, share the link. Okay, is anybody in here on an iPhone? I have no idea what I'm doing. People keep asking me, how do I become a member? I don't know on an iPhone. Besides telling you, go to your computer, open it up in Safari. Now, does the iPhone have Safari? Let me see. I don't know. I, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I can't, I don't know. Uh, yes iPhone Safari. So let me see. Uh, okay. Safari. So I went to Safari. Okay. Um, now this got Epic games up in here. Okay. So how do I use, how do I use, let's see. Uh, damn saltwater query. Make my super chat look like shiznit. He ain't he ain't, he ain't mean to do that to y'all, man. He just he's he's having fun. It's Friday, man. Work work week, man. Work week. Um, uh, yeah, we got to um. So I'm like, let me see, cancel. Why does it say Fortnite? Epic game. Why am I on Epic Games? If I open this up in Safari, why is it coming up Fortnite? I don't see. I'm. I apologize, people. I honestly, I just don't know. Let's see. Um. Rico's Aquarium. Let's see. So we got, we got. Let's see. Um, it is normal for an enemy's, uh, you ball up when the lights are off. Uh, I think they, yeah, they would react to light. That's awesome. Glad to see the support of the hobby. Uh, yeah. So Saltwater Aquarium, obviously, you don't get you don't get me to talk about you unless you honestly, I feel like you're worthy. I, I mean, and I'm not trying to be funny when I say this. There's a lot of people that like me. There's a lot of people that don't like me in the hobby. I, I, and the reason I'm not kissing your butt to get along with you. I'm, uh, here's the thing. I have an opinion. People have an opinion. You, it, you have to respect people's boundaries of opinion, okay? And they, you know, there's people. This is this is a small community, man. I'll just be honest. Like word goes, like Tweety Birds around the community, right? 
if you don't do what somebody wants you to do, well, it's almost like you're shut. Like, you you know, well, they're just going to whatever run you up out the hobby. I'm not – I'm not – I don't care about that. I, I'm a big boy. I can defend myself, you know. Saltwater Aquarium didn't have to do that. I never met in another aquarium company. First off, to say, hey, I, I asked, hey, can I get something to, like, kind of pay, pay it forward for my people, my followers? Just hear me out. My followers, when it came to – uh, getting some kind of discount code, maybe run it for a month or whatever. Um, I didn't expect them to be like, no, we want to give you 5% discount code. It's for life. Okay, cool. So if I walk away from this and people are still seeing my videos on YouTube, they can always hear about me talking about them. It's in the comment section down below. You know, it's a code. doesn't matter if you already have one with them. Um, they'll merge it together. Now, if you're already a veteran and getting a veteran discount, then obviously it's not going to work. Uh, this is just for people that are just looking for, you know, for a little bit of support back. So I think a fair exchange ain't never been a robbery. I love a company that's going to go ahead and support and give support back. Not just saying, oh, here's some points, but no. Oh, we Hey, here, we like what you're doing. Here's a code for life. Get to your people. And uh, we thank you, you know. Also, there's going to be some things that, like I said, that I'm going to do this summer. Now, this summer, I'm trying on – my goal is to hit about 50 people. And I want, like, 50 videos going to 50 different people's houses. And also, um, outside of individual keep how you know, uh, hobbyists like yourself, also want to stop at some of your local LFS. So if there's a couple of you in the area and I can knock a couple of you out and you guys share, like, the same maybe uh, LFS. I'm going to go there or have you guys, all, let's all meet up there too and hang out and show me around uh, your LFS, you know? And then in return, I also want to give you guys a, a little parting gift too, just to, you know, show you guys appreciation, you know, appreciation on behalf of me and appreciation on half of these guys up here. So I got some good, some plans for this summer and I really want to make it, you know, and just pay it forward, man. I mean, we all uh, work our tail off to have this hobby, right? I mean, would you guys agree? You work your tail off to, you know, so you can buy stuff for your hobby. So I'll be, you know, doing some parting gifts and all kinds of stuff. Uh, and all that. Uh, by the way, I don't know what to tell you guys besides get on a PC and do it on a PC. I'll figure if I figure it out later, I will. I don't want to spend too much time on it, and then you know whatever we're wasting valuable time. But I am waiting on the whatever water here is. Um, uh, like I said, put almost four grand just in the water here to do the uh softener systems and drinking and all this other stuff. Um, we're going to get a tank here. What's up, man? Get a tank and all that cool stuff. So once again, for you guys, I apologize that are hobbyists. Thank you guys for the super chats uh, and all that. Florida is the Mecca. There you go. Um, I will be going to Florida. I'm going to Key West on my birthday as well. I'm driving my Harley down, me and my other buddy. So guess what? I'm going to be hitting some of you guys up in Florida. I'm coming through Orlando, whatever. Uh, his old lady, my wife, they're going to drive, rent a Suburban or something and uh, take the kids. And we're going down on our hogs. So um, that's going to be the first, uh, second week in July. So July 10th to whatever. So that's what the wife put the, the date in on for a week. Um now, I can stay a little bit longer if I need to, but we'll be in Florida, the Keys. So I plan on hitting up some people on the way to Florida um, as well, or actually in Florida. So that's going to be a good one, hopefully. Uh, and that's my buddy's bucket list to ride his Harley to Florida. Me, I'll ride. I'll ride anyway. Ten full. Yeah. So. That's definitely happening regardless. Um, I'll be heading down there. If I have to extend my trip, I can. Wife can't, but I can. 
uh, kind of cool working for yourself too. So I can kind of do what I want when I want, how I want to do it. But uh, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be good. So I, I th- 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 I'm not updating. So, so um, hassles of saltwater aquarium maintenance. So what I mean by that is I know a lot of people complain about, Oh, I got to do this and I got to do this and I got to do that with my aquarium. What are some of the things that you can do to obviously make stuff hassle free? Log your aquarium, do your proper water changes, start off with the proper cycle of your aquarium. People don't realize proper cycling your aquarium from the very beginning will not give you a headache. It will actually help you through throughout having that aquarium if you properly cycled it, uh, cycled it in the first place, you know, with algaes and all this other stuff. Also, um, logging your maintenance, watching how you feed, balancing things. What about equipment? What are some of the equipment that you can help or would you guys suggest um, help you out with the overall maintenance of your aquarium? Somebody did indicate a little bit earlier before we got into how do I become a member um, that uh, automated water changes. What I would like to see too, automated water changes are nice. Uh, Reactors, what kind of reactors? Are we talking about Chato reactors? Are we talking about algae scrubbers? What what, what kind of reactors are we talking about? Um, For me, maintenance... Um, I can go f- for a long time, no water changes. All right. But I'm also running calcium, uh, calcium, re- uh, yeah, calcium reactors and stuff like that. Now on this new system, I don't know what I'm going to be running. I don't know if I'm going to go ahead and get up, get, get Sadar and send me another, uh, dual stage calcium reactor for this and run a calcium reactor, or am I just going to stick to water changes and do something a little different with you guys? But I know whatever we do, it's going to be a very high-end uh, aquarium. So uh, we're going to uh, – you know what? I probably will. I'll probably get a hold of uh, Sadar. Uh, Geo. I know you guys know Geo. Uh, that's who I mess with. That's who I mess with for a long time. That's – that's for me, that's casting reactor for me. That's, that's where I plan to go with. Um, maybe I will and do that and show you guys on a little bit smaller level. Hey, whatever the case may be. Also, uh, use carbon, uh, zeolite, uh, something at small amounts of roofost. Uh, carbon. I never use roofost or anything like that. I'm not going to say it's what it what it, is it bad or not bad. I personally never use it. I just use some carbon um, here and there just to help out with the water quality. Uh, what's going on? What's up, Claudius? How's it going, my man? Um, no, just talking. What can we do to stop the uh, the hassles of a you know saltwater aquarium maintenance? You know what can we do to make it more easy for ourselves to do maintenance on our aquariums? What are some of the things that we can come up with to make it more pleasurable? I guess you know on maintaining our 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 tanks. You know. What about simply doing some of the maintenance as far as, uh, you know, every six months, a deep inspection of our equipment, go over everything, make a list, look at how things are looking. If something may look weak, maybe go ahead, putting in our order for new pieces of uh, equipment or, you know what I mean? Whatever it is. Saltwater Aquarium says kiss and kiss. He's not meaning let me kiss you. He's meaning keep it. Keep it simple, stupid. Um, and that's a great concept. That's an awesome concept. Uh, how many of you guys would agree on that? How many How many of you guys think, honestly, I know there's a lot of tech people out here. How many of you guys, a show of thumbs in the chat, think that, honestly, it was easier with less or is it easier with more, more things on your aquarium to to, to run your aquarium. Which one? Don't buy crap you don't need. You heard that. 
You, you wonder why I, 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 I honestly mess with Saltwater Aquarium right there. Don't buy. Listen, you got to understand. You do realize saltwateraquarium.com is a, 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 a distribution center flight for you to buy your aquarium needs, all your hobby, hobbyist needs, right? And they're telling you out of their own mouth, don't buy anything that you don't need. I mean, who says that? See, that's why I mess with them. You know what I mean? And then, I, you know, at the end of the day, the, the, you know, big scheme of things or whatever, keep – they, they, they've had this energy since I've met them. Like, not to be funny. And, you know, it, it's crazy. And, and, you know, most times, you know, you get people that approach you or say something, and they said this, and then after time of being around them, it's actually not what they're not, who they came off the first time they're over here. I never got that vibe with them. That's why I mess with them. That's why they the only one, they right there. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. Uh, sorry, I like to sell stuff, but I mean, of course. And that's the thing. And, 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 and that's the cool part. Don't buy something that you don't need. Pure point blank. I don't care what somebody tells you. You know, you don't need it. And now, if you want it, let me tell you something. You don't need half the, the majority of the stuff on your query. You don't need it. But does... The, uh, to me, it sure makes things easier for the most part for me. Like people say, oh, you don't need a uh, 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 controller, Rico. I already done this hobby for many years without controllers. You know, like Red Sea, Red Sea had a box back in the day. This is how long Red Sea, at least as long as I've been doing it, me and fan, they had a box like this. It was red. It was a box. It had plugs in the back. It had a little button here. This was our wave maker box. Like, I had big, big dumb pump that had, you know, suction on the side of, of a tank. I didn't have these fancy pumps nowadays. A big dumb pump, plug it in, and, and, and it creates a movement and random flow. And, I mean, Red Sea been around. How long Red Sea been around? At least 20, 30 years? That's how long Red Sea's been around, okay? Um, even though, you know, it is what it is. I don't know if even people realize that. But, you I didn't, you don't need these things, but they, they make things easier for you. So where I was going with that is controllers. I had the old, the old dial controllers. You had to take a little plastic pin, stick it in for your time and all this, turn the lights on, turn the lights off, the whole nine yards, right? When I tell you as far as the, 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 you know, Neptune, you know, the, any of the controllers that came out, when they came out with controllers, to me, that was a game changer. I always run casting reactors. I love casting reactors. You know how hard casting reactors are? They, they are for a beginner that have to really fine tune this little needle, you know, and get the right bubble and take a beaker and drip your fluid and do a stopwatch and see how many milliliters you're actually getting within a minute. Now, so when they came out with that Kamora uh, FTSP pump or whatever they call it, which I you know, I got to get me another one up. But when I get th those pumps, when I told you, when they when they made that pump in this little in this little thing, they took it from these big big ones. Like these are hospital grade ones that you're going to pay like three, four thousand dollars, whatever. Use fifteen hundred, and you still got to replace some parts, okay, or whatever. The peristaltic dosage pumps I'm talking about, and they made it for us, convenient. That was a game changer. When they came out with the electric carbon dump, game changer for people like me that understand what calcium reactors are, what they do for you, the whole nine yards. Same with controllers. A lot of people are not on board with controllers. All this, it fails. Blah, blah. You don't need it. Nobody's telling you need any of this. But boy, it sure does help. And at the end of the day, it's up to you. Don't buy something you don't need. Understand what we're saying in that sentence. Don't buy something you don't need. If it's not right for you, don't buy it. It's not going to hurt anybody. Only buy what you feel that is right for you. That's going to help you in your everyday tasks when it comes to maintaining your aquarium. That is it. It's not a debate. It's not, oh, well, you're stupid for doing this or you're not. You might have more time at home than I do. Maybe I'm always on the road traveling. 
Well, guess what? I need controllers. I need redundancy. I need things that's going to dose my aquarium. I don't want somebody coming in in my house accidentally overdosing my aquarium. If I'm running uh, dosing pumps, well, guess what? Hey, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have it tied in to an alarm system, uh, the uh, uh, Apex controller. If my levels jump up to some, I'm going to have a redundancy, emergency shutdowns, shutoffs, whatever the case may be. Something that I, by the time I get through to somebody, maybe they got the key, maybe they can get it to my house. Maybe they're, I don't know if they're on the other side of town when they can get there. Guess what? That's all right. This is what I need to be done. And now if I need you to reset something, I'll call you. Let's do a face-to-face, -face, FaceTime. Hey, it, this is what you need to do. Touch this button, blah, 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 and we'll get back online. I can deal with it. You know, these are the convenience of buying these products. Not everybody sold on these products. Okay, and that's fine. That's fine. But not everybody, we can't always be home. We can't be. So at the end of the day, do you invest in a friend? that doesn't know anything about this hobby, do you invest in your girlfriend, which I've seen a lot of people do, and she wipes out or does something because it's not her hobby. It's your hobby. And you're trying to teach somebody or tell somebody on, the, on an emergency scale how to do something, and then you get mad when it, listen, computers are great. Yes, they can fail. They, anything can fail. You walking down the street, your heart can fail. Is it a moving part? And I hate to use that analogy, but at the same time, is your body, it, your, your engine internal or you moving parts? Of course it is. I don't understand why people say, you know, I understand if it got moving parts, it will fail. And what, when it's going to fail? We don't know. When is your heart going to fail? Will it fail? I, at some point. So why even is it, is it a discussion kind of thing? You feel me? I, I, I know I use some crazy analogies, but I'm just saying. Um, the uh, Let's see. Uh, Nick, preach, brother, just getting on, and it's all facts. Well, thank you, Nick's Reef. Appreciate it. The hobby isn't about who's got money, blah, blah. It's about enjoying the process and, and lifestyle. Great point. People make it about what they got and don't got. And that stuff trickles down to other people. That stuff trickles down to, you know, whatever. It, it, it shouldn't be about what it is or what you got and don't got. You know what happens is people say, and I'm going to be honest, this is real talk now. I like what was said right there because what I see happens is people, if you can't afford it, guess what? It's okay. It ain't. Gonna, it should never stop you. All you need is a bucket, something to mix some salt in, do your water changes. Hey, you don't need all the equipment. Get your little timer to turn your lights on and off or whatever. If you can't get a light that does that automatically or whatever, I don't know. But this stuff, don't let other people dictate your, your happiness when it comes to this hobby. Okay, we all started from somewhere. And I'll tell you what, the majority of us started from the bottom. Okay? It, but you get people that will hate and say, oh, you don't need this, you don't need that. Why? I'm going to tell you why. What I noticed, it's usually because they can't afford it. You know what I mean? So they say, oh, you don't need that. They're right. You don't. But it helps. So what we need to do is what can make things easier for you when it comes to your saltwater aquarium maintenance and being basically less hassled? Okay, reduce the hassle of the aquarium maintenance. How do you do that? Is it just you or do you need the help of equipment? I personally have to say I need the help of equipment. There's no way that I can do what I do without nowadays without the equipment. I mean, I'm just being honest. Not if I want, you know what I mean? It ain't like, I mean, you can get house setters. You can get all this. That's cool. But for me, there's our pieces of equipment that I think that people should implement and, and, and learn to use it and just go with the times. Um, and that's just that. You know, I don't know. How do you guys feel about it? Let me hear your guys' thoughts on this. Uh, Saltwater Curse says out controllers uh, is awesome. 
I never had an out controller. I couldn't tell you the first thing about one. Maybe I'll get one from them and try it out. I never had one. I, I you know, um, I think my one buddy, I don't know which one it is. I think he got one or he had an old, I don't know. I have to check with him and see what he his thoughts is as well. Um, out, I love everything about it. And how many of you guys already been here long enough to know? One of my biggest things, well, I'll say the only thing I normally care about is my out. That's the thing. Um, been doing this long enough. I'm using Trident Control Dosing. Ah, uh, okay. Somebody asked me about that too, about should they be letting Trident control their dosing? Maybe they asked me that because you might have said that somewhere, um, to be honest. And maybe they were trying to get me to you know, see what I had to say about it. That makes sense now. Somebody asked me in the chat on one of these live streams about that. I don't know who it was, but uh, that's funny you say that. Um, yeah, I'll have to check that out for myself. But uh, that's the, my, I've been doing this long enough. Alk is going to tell you everything you want to know about your tank. I'm just be honest. If Alk is messed up, you can almost guarantee your rest of parameters are messed up. Um, it's just one of those things. I no longer need to test or dose just crews. Oh yeah, I gotta I gotta check that out. I definitely gotta check that out. That's 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 definitely. He uh he says I live through you ballers. Hey, let me tell you something. Where where are you from? Who is this? Who 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 just said that? Hey, that's it. uh yo yo stuff. Well, I don't know how if I'm pronouncing that right, but anyway, where where you stay at, man? Tampa. Hey, listen, man. When I come through Florida, man, we're gonna we're gonna hook up, man. Let me let me let me come through and, and, and check your tank out. Let me let me come through. He said it's hard to even believe. I def listen. I'm I'm gonna definitely check that out, y'all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get that and check that out. I'm I'm I'm, I'm for sure. I, I need to. As a matter of fact, maybe maybe I need to go there and go check out that setup myself maybe that maybe that's what i need to do i know a lot of people a lot of people is worried about you know with this this uh this uh demic thing but uh okay all right yeah all right he says i'm in too yeah we need to get down there and check that out and uh i won't you know it ain't about see you say ballers, man. Listen, listen. I, I I'm I'm a good person, man. I I like to help out too. If I can help out, I, I'm I'm gonna help out. Let me come check you out, man. I'm gonna let me let me let me bless you with a little something after you know I come check you out. I like to do that too, if you don't mind. He says anytime. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Let me come check you out, man. Let me uh definitely check you out, man. And then we 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 can bless you with something, man. You know. Hey, listen, this, I, I want y'all to understand something. I, and I've never done this. And then anybody that's been here from the very beginning, I've never, never did any. To rub any or done that. If you guys all remember Sunday, fun day, even before Saltwater Aquarium, I even mentioned it was even in the picture. How much stuff that I gave away on my own. You know, there's a lot of stuff that I've done for a lot of people, even, even prior you know what I'm saying? I, I, you know, if I can help out, I help out where I can. You know, I had no problem with doing that. There's a lot of stuff that does come my way. I don't use, ain't probably going to use, you know, there's stuff that people do, you know, and I know, you know, sometimes they just looking for a video or something. They say they ain't, but I know what it is, but I just don't do it because somebody else can use it. It's not, you know, it's just not right for me. You know, I can't, you know, it is what it is. So, Anyway, uh, definitely this summer, got some stuff on the books. Um, I think people need to understand your maintenance, what it boils down to when it comes to uh, your maintenance. Uh, the JBJ, I gave it away. Um, he's in here, Tyler or who? Uh, they got it. Drove all the way from Connecticut. I gave it away. I did a giveaway. Yep. They came all the way down here. The father, the son, the son plays football up there. Uh, cool kid. He brought his daughter, his son. They came. We had breakfast at Bob Evans. 
I brought the tank on my truck. We met up at Bob Evans. We had a nice breakfast and stuff and uh, helped them. He brought it. Uh, I think he brought his buddy, too. And, uh, yeah, helped them. They drove all the way from Connecticut. So, yeah, uh, for the for the uh, JBJ tank. So, yeah, get, just gave it away. Um, and that's what's cool, man. It's like, you know, I can only do so much with certain stuff. Uh, yeah, excellent. Your neck of the woods, yeah, yeah. They, 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 they the, the kid, the kid. I did, I give away. He won it. So, um, yeah, yeah. So I, I was glad. I honestly, I was glad. Nothing against uh, anybody that's grown, but I like seeing kids get in stuff like JJ fourteen G. You know, I don't, I don't talk to him as much. You know, his his dad, and you know, I talk to his dad, and his dad sends messages every now and then. You know. I, you know, I'm, I'm a sucker for kids, man. I think kids, is, kids is the next generation, man. I mean, I got, I got my own kids, man. They get on my nerves sometimes. I gotta, I gotta ground them. I don't like grounding them. I know they want to be on the game and play, but at the same time, they got responsibility and I got to teach responsibility too, you know, but I love kids getting into this hobby and I changed something. I love kids getting into this hobby. So I'm, a, I, I, I love giving kids something first over dogs. Not, not to be funny. I mean, we can all work, right? We can we can work for it too. But a kid, you know, it, it, they're the next generation in this hobby. You know, I love helping out the kids, man. Uh, let me get a uh, get your calcium reactor. Uh, nah, I'm playing. Nah, <laughs> that calcium reactor ain't going nowhere, man. That's the biggest, baddest calcium reactor they they make, man. That that calcium reactor would sit on the shelf and collect dust if it never got used again, man. <laughs> That's that's a that's that's just uh it's just one of my favorite favorite uh, things. Um, I don't know if it'll work on you know it's so big, man. I don't uh, to put it on uh, put it on this thing. It'd be crazy um, for the most part. But anyway, but no, it's not about uh, it's about you, man. You ultimately make that decision on your maintenance on your aquarium. How many of you guys will agree on that? It's up to you. You can either make, you know, make it rough uh, for yourself when it comes to, you know, as far as the, the hassles of your aquarium maintenance. Uh, it's really on you. It's on nobody but yourself. It's what you're willing to do and what you're not willing to do is going to dictate how your aquarium works. You got to remember, once again, I said this on the last live stream. Your aquarium on, on the real is a product of you. However you choose to live, that's how your aquarium looks. If you're an OCD person, your aquarium is going to be spotless. Your aquarium is going to be the type of aquarium that it's probably on death's door because it's so clean that you can't even get nutrients reading. <laughs> if you're a type of person that don't mind a sock in the middle of the living room floor, we're probably good. <laughs> Need to keep uh, keep kids involved. Without the this hobby, will die out eventually. Plus, it teaches many great things. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Um, uh, I have a terrible case of. <laughs> uh, okay, no problem. But no, for real. Um, I, and and I don't mean that insultingly. By the way. I always shared this with people. Now, think about this. So you can only answer this question. You have to look at yourself in the mirror and be honest with yourself. However you live is how your aquarium is going to look. Your aquarium is a product of you, period. You gave birth to it. It's like a kid. You gave birth, you and your old lady, significant other, or whatever her name was, you gave birth to a child. That child's going to grow up a product of you and a product of its environment. Understand what I'm saying? Your aquariums are a product of you and the environment that it's kept, up, kept in. You can believe that or not believe it. You can say, Rico, you're full of it. Okay? Kids, raising kids, not easy. Raising an aquarium, not easy. You have highs and lows. I'm just being honest with you. Think about it. Think about what I'm saying. 
you find people OCD, they're going to be OCD with their aquarium. You got people that's a little bit laid back and chilled. They're going to, that aquarium's going to look laid back and chilled. Still looks good, though. You know what I'm saying? Actually, people with OCD, like I said, more than likely are going to be a stick person. They ain't going to be a stick and softy person. They probably going to be a SPS because they're so OCD. They ain't got enough nutrients for the corals that require a dirty aquarium, more of a dirty environment, more of a nutrients within the aquarium environment. You get what I'm saying? If you lay back and chill, don't mind a sock in the middle of your living room floor. Okay. You're going to probably be a person that will have a mixed reef aquarium. You get what I'm saying? Because you're relaxed and chill. You're, you're willing to keep up on it. You're willing to make sure everything's doing good. You're also willing to give it a little bit of nutrients because that dirty sock you left there, just confirm. You got a very clean house, but you got a sock or two laying in the middle of the floor. You maybe got a couple more kids. You never know, right? And then you turn around and you look at, huh, I'm just being honest. Now, if I'm lying, I'm dying. If you agree, let me know you agree. Think about what I'm saying. Now, if you're just a dirty person and you you know, you're just sitting around, you don't care about nothing. You got clothes piled up all over the floor. You got feces, dog. Well, I don't know what you got, but it's just nasty. Dishes piled up in the sink, the whole nine yards, man. Can you imagine what your tank's going to look like? Let me, help me understand. I, I'll tell you what your tank's going to look like. Just like everything else in your house. Okay. I'm just being honest. That same tank. Let me, let me, let me, let me back it up a little bit. Let's just say you just like pow, clothes on the floor, dishes sky high, you know, not really clean at all to say. Okay, let's just say only thing you'll be able to keep in your aquarium is some softies, some dirty corals and like, like stuff a little bit dirty. Now, let's just say dirty clothes pile, you know, uh, cat, cat, cat litter box sky high, uh, uh, smell like cat urine and everything else. Guess what that other aquarium is going to look like? A big ball of hair algae with red mushrooms, the evasive kind that runs all over your tank. That's all you can keep. I'm just being honest with you. I, I, it can be heartbreaking, but and I can't tell you how you live. You the only person know how you live and you are a product of your your tank is a product of you. So just think about it. Next time when you do something now, can that be changed? Of course, because we all can learn something for something from one another. If you know that, you 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 ready to change? Yep, yeah, keep it clean, house, fish, dog, and all. Exactly. If you're a clean individual and you you you're anal about your stuff, I can't imagine your fish tank looking like crap. I can't imagine. I don't even think it's possible. Because people that like that can't can't deal with dirtiness. So therefore they just they OCD. You know what I'm saying? They're like really OCD. I don't like going to bed. Gavin knows, like my oldest son, that's his chore. I don't want a dish in my dish, well, uh, in, 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 in the sink. When I wake up, my, my sink better be clean. Okay? I don't want to wake up dirty dishes. You got a dishwasher? You better load that bad boy up. You better run it while you're sleeping. And then the next day, you better unload it and start that process all over again. That's his job. I don't like trash. You see trash in the trash can and the lid popped up. You probably going to get grounded. Like seriously, that you, you, how much stuff you done threw in there. You seen it full. Take it out. It's time to go. It's been time to go. You shouldn't even got to where the lid's lit. I'm OCD like that. So what I'm saying is I'm picky about certain stuff. So therefore your tank, you're going to be picky about your tank. So how's, how's everybody doing? Was this a great talk tonight? I don't know. Anybody, everybody, thank you all for, hey, shout out to Saltwater Crew, man. I greatly, I, man, dude, I, I love you guys over there, man. You you are true, true uh, brothers to me over there. Greg, all, the whole family, man. Uh, Gavin, Gavin's on my neck. I got to bring Gavin over there, man. Them kids, boy, they, 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 be, they, be getting in, they be getting the game on. They be getting that game on. That's for sure. Uh, so, yeah, I'll probably get on. I'll get some COD. I, I'm garbage, so I'll let you know that. Uh, I'm garbage right now. I ain't played in so long. Uh, so, uh, what's that? Uh, if you guys have any more questions, you know, at a later, I always leave something at the end of these videos. If, if you come across this video at a later date and um, you think about anything else that you want to talk about or come up with, trust me, I got tons of topics. I'm not running out of topics anytime soon. 
So we can leave them up, talk about them, leave them there um, for whoever. Anybody? Keep it again. Okay. Yep. We already talked about that. Any any last questions for anybody? Thank you all. Uh, super chat, the whole nine jerseys. Oh, uh, driving my big rig. Listen, ain't nothing wrong with that. Hammer down. Um, I miss the road. I ain't even gonna lie. I do miss the road. <laughs> I miss the road. Um, but uh, yeah. Any last, any last words, man? Once again, appreciate all the super chats. I do appreciate super chats, man. I mean, it does help. You know, whether you guys want to believe it, whether you guys care or not, it does help, right? Mm, there you go, my man. I love, it. I love that little meme, Max. There you go. That's what's up, my man. Um, also, I like to see more people become members, man. I mean, I, you know, time is everything. Sitting here, having fun, learning. I love the new format. I also, it's, it's awesome. I love, I love the format. I do. I do. I do. I do. I love it. And then we got, we got to uh, give it up to my, uh, my man, but uh, it is what it is, man. So it is what it is. Any 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 last things? Any last things? Had to get, had a nobody? Nothing else? <laughs> right? Yeah. All right. So we are one minute over. Thanks again. Uh, shout out to saltwaterquarium.com. and uh, make sure you guys keep it real. Show them love and support. You heard it out of their own mouth, man. Don't buy nothing. If you don't need it, don't be over there buying stuff if you don't need it. So it works. Nothing else. There it is. Oh, yeah. Yep. So once again, shout out to them. I love those guys over there. And uh, we're just walking, tagging along. So this is going to be it for tonight, guys. I'm going to get done with this. Probably going to jump on some CLD. I've been called to enter the CLD lands. You know, if you guys don't know what that is, the call of duty. So, got to go over there, hang out, go do something with myself. Uh, appreciate you guys. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share these videos. If it works for somebody, if you've got somebody asking you questions, direct them over here to Rico's Aquariums. Hey, have them come and join this beautiful family. And uh, let's keep it moving and keeping it real. 2021. Peace.